Skywatch Media News for the last week of April 2018. The strong interaction of the Sun with the Earth continues, even though solar activity is at its lowest levels in many years. Recently, an interplanetary shock wave struck the Earth at a very high speed. The density of the solar wind skyrocketed, which caused a crack in the Earth's magnetic field. The magnetic field of our planet has been under incredible stress in recent years, creating ruptures which allows some of the cosmic energy particles from the Sun to enter our atmosphere. The solar eruption resulted in a geomagnetic storm which produced electric blue auroras as far south as Illinois on April 19th, some of which were seen by the naked eye. The sun appears to be in a state of flux, which garners the idea shared by scientists that we are in the midst of unusual times. A study published last year in the notices of the Royal Astronomical Society states uh, the rotation rate of the sun has changed, which may explain why our sun is behaving so strangely. According to the study, there are times when the activity on the sun is greatly altered, as suggested from data that is attained from the study of solar irradiance. This would indicate a change in the behavior of the solar cycles. Last summer, NASA released a memo stating that the solar minimum was coming, that it would arrive sometime in 2019 or 2020, and that the Earth should prepare for its arrival. A solar minimum affects Earth's upper atmosphere, as there is less UV radiation from the sun. The number of cosmic rays also increases because the magnetic field has been weakened, reducing the usual protection from harmful radiation. The previous solar cycle displayed some very unusual behavior. Between the years 2008 and 2010, the output of sunspots were on the cusp of being non-existent, an event that has not been seen in over a century. It was an absence that took observers by complete surprise, a solar event that surpasses our living memory. Changes in sunspot numbers reflect changes from inside of the sun. The latest solar cycle, 24, was supposed to be the most active on record. According to computer models, there was supposed to be more sunspots, more solar storms, and more blasted energy. But the sun surprised the prognosticators. It seems as if it has been having difficulty starting its cycle each time. The number of sunspots has been well below expectations. So something has changed, something that the models could not predict. If the sun's energy output is changing, then its temperature must be fluctuating as well. If the surface of the sun begins to cool by even the slightest amount, a reduction in energy output would commence, which would begin the process of a star that is shrinking. French astronomer Jean Picard measured the diameter of the sun back in the 17th century, during a period of time called the Maunder Minimum. His results indicated that the sun's diameter was larger than what model measurements are showing today. So if there is any dip in the output of energy, then a shrinking of our sun is very possible. What effect the upcoming solar cycle will have on Earth is really beyond our ability to predict, although evidence indicates that the sun is losing its ability to produce sunspots. Solar activity, in addition to volcanic eruptions, can play a major role in climate variability. But in order to obtain a true consensus regarding the sun's level of influence on Earth, and also of its climate, then it is imperative that scientists have the appropriate means to accurately predict sun cycles. Our sun is behaving in strange ways, defying the predictions of solar scientists. But despite the obvious decline in sunspots and the decline in solar energy, 
the energy output of the Earth's inner core continues to increase. The primary reason for the increased activity at the Earth's center can be found in the influx of galactic energy particles. But is the origin of the cosmic radiation a result of the energy output of the Sun, or is it coming from another source? In a previous video I discussed how our Sun is tilting by 6 degrees to its equator because of the presence of a massive body in the solar system. A report that originated from solar physicists who study the Sun's long-term activity. So clearly something significant is happening to the Sun which affects other planets in the solar system. The behavior of the Sun and what effect it may have on Earth changes is very complex. It goes beyond what we have been told in literary science. Everyone who visits this channel has a unique perspective regarding Earth changes which is understood because not everyone thinks alike. But in analyzing the facts, we must be able to distinguish truth from fiction. An important aspect in our understanding of Earth changes is found in our planet's geological features and what role, if any, plate tectonics play in planetary expansion. There are mounting concerns regarding present-day events that are directed towards an upheaval centered at the Earth's core. Recent observations show that the North Magnetic Pole is shifting towards Siberia at an accelerated speed, now approaching 35 miles per year. A number of recent events provide the framework for an accelerated shift. Take for example the fissure that cracked open in Pakistan last year, which spans several hundred miles. It is one of the longest earth fissures that has ever been witnessed. This is an extremely dangerous region where the Eurasian plate rubs shoulders with the Indian Australian plate. There are many other regions where giant fissures have formed, which has many people, including prominent geologists, very worried.
A new report out of Africa is indicating that another large crack, some 1.2 miles in length, has opened up in Nakura County in Kenya. This is one month after a 50-foot wide crack developed in this region. The latest fissure, believed to be 20 feet deep, has swallowed up farms and destroyed many acres of crops. In addition, a number of roads and a major river have been affected by the recently developed fissure. A few geologists attribute the geological features to a volcano that lies at the base of the Great Rift Valley named Sushwa. Regardless of the cause, it seems that the African continent is slowly on the move and will one day form two regions. Thousands of residents on the South Pacific island nation of Vanuatu are the latest victims of a restless volcano. For the second time in six months, the volcano situated at the top of Mount Lambenben has spewed torrents of ash and gas from its crater, threatening lives and property. Nearly a foot of ash settled on many parts of the Ambe Island, causing residents to flee. The island's 11,000 inhabitants will be permanently resettled by the end of May. Temperature fluctuations are becoming an extreme weather-related event. In a single day, temperatures climbed an astonishing 60 to 70 degrees in both Kansas and Oklahoma. The weather anomaly was caused by two low-pressure systems that moved consecutively across the Midwest. The first system produced winds from the north, which pushed temperatures well below average for April. Right on the heels of that system came another storm, which lifted temperatures overnight, when hot dry air was carried into the region from Mexico and Texas. Alva, Oklahoma started their day at 33 degrees right at sunrise, while temperatures skyrocketed during the afternoon, eventually capping off at 101 degrees by day's end, a remarkable 68 degrees differential in less than 24 hours. The hot and dry weather also fueled the wildfires, which firefighters are struggling to control in Oklahoma. This chart from the Forestry Division shows the location of fires throughout the state. The smoke generated by the wildfires created an eerie scene across portions of Oklahoma. The summer of 2017 was a remarkable year for wildfires, especially in the Pacific Northwest. These fires were so ferocious that they had the same effect on our planet as a volcanic eruption. The heat and smoke generated from these fires resulted in the formation of massive storms, known as Pyrocebus. These storms swept the smoke very high into the atmosphere, where it began to move over the northern hemisphere. Because 2017 was a record year for wildfires, the concern is that catastrophic fire events will continue into the foreseeable future. Pyrocebus uh, form when conditions are met for fire heat and smoke to generate what are called dirty thunderstorms. The smoke from these fires can reach the lower stratosphere, where it can spread long distance. On the 12th of August, 2017, five tremendous pyrocebus formed in British Columbia, Canada, and in Washington State. For many days, an enormous smoke plume which developed from these dirty storms moved from the Canadian Arctic across the Hudson Bay, and finally into the Atlantic Ocean. From there, the fallout continued to spread across the Northern Hemisphere, where it remained until late fall, early winter of 2017. These were wildfire-generated storms that behaved much like a volcanic eruption. Satellite data estimates that the mass of the smoke plume was between 100 and 500,000 tons which is approaching the output of the Alaskan volcano eruption of Kasatochi in 2008. These fires produced more fallout in just one evening than what was produced in the entire fire season of 2013. The potential for climate implications from these fires is therefore very real. 
The 2017 wildfires in California's Napa Valley were the most destructive in U.S. history. This fire killed dozens of people and caused $18 billion in damage. If climate change creates a more tropical environment in the lower latitudes, then the potential of repeats of these events will increase. As wildfire threats escalate, catastrophic flooding continues on a global scale as a result of highly unusual weather systems that drop torrents of rain in a very short time span. On April 16th, major flooding occurred in New York City's subway system, part of the same system that brought incredible amounts of snow to the upper Midwest. The subway flooding became so severe that trains on some routes bypassed the station. Here is a sample of what subway riders had to endure for their morning commute. On the Hawaiian island of Kauai, historical storms triggered mudslides and catastrophic flooding as more than two feet of rain dropped from the sky, causing widespread devastation. In Hanalea, nearly 28 inches of rain fell in a 24-hour period. Some of you may recognize this object. The image was captured from NASA's Solar Observatory on April 22nd, but it is not the first time that it has been recorded. The object looks strikingly similar to the ancient Egyptian motif of the winged solar disk, depicting the perfect union of our solar system with nature. When questioned about the imagery, NASA has responded by saying it is a speck of dust, 
or a broken sensor lens. But since then, they have remained silent. Like so many mysteries of space, isn't it our obligation to learn the truth? The grandeur of a recent geomagnetic storm was on full display in the sky above Russia's far east, as spectacular auroras sent streaks of intense light across the northern sky. It was a powerful eruption of the magnetic field that surrounds the earth, which shields all living things. The sun, in all its glory, provides the essentials of life on planet earth, and yet this world seems to take the greatness of its power for granted. As you look to the sky, behold the beauty and the magnificence of the heavens which appear before you to both comfort you and guide you in a time of trouble. Thanks for watching.